Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the YouTube channel. In today's video, I get to try some of your tunes. Also, the game looks absolutely beautiful right now at this time. It just looks so, so nice. I don't know, there's something about it right now at this time of day. Like, it's just going into daytime right now. It was nighttime. And especially the R34. Has like a little lens flare going on with the backlights. Getting very, very distracted, very sidetracked. Anyway, in today's video, I get to try some of your tunes. So, tunes that you guys have sent me over on the Discord that you want me to try out in videos. So that's pretty much what's happening in today's video. And if you guys have any tunes you want to share with me for me to try in future videos, go to the Discord, link to that is down in the description box below and you can post them in the uh, appropriate channel there. And I could try them in a, f in a future video. Now, like I said, you guys have sent me some tunes. I already have two of them chosen. Uh, usually I, I pick one of them and then the next one I just sort of scroll through the list to try to find another one. But I have two of them chosen so far. So one of them immediately caught my eye because guaranteed... The, basically, the, this is what the comment was. Guaranteed to be quicker down the Golden Toge than your STI dubs. <laughs> and it's rear wheel drive. Try it with sim steering. You will not be disappointed. And it just gave me a share code, and there's nothing else to it. So I definitely want to try that one. And then the next one is a hill climb tune, which I really, really want to try because it seems like it's going to be very, very quick in the hill climb as well. So pretty much downhill and uphill for today's video for these tunes. Um, again, you guys are the ones sharing these tunes with me. So like I said, if you have anything else to either challenge my tunes or just to make anything crazy, uh, of course, feel free to check out the Discord. Um, in the description of this video, you'll also find a... Um, a list of cars that have gone on the Golden Toge. The Golden Toge, you'll see what it is if you're new to the channel. If you're not new to the channel, then obviously you know what it is. But anyway, this is the first code. 382-109-434. What is it for? Okay. Okay. This could definitely be faster than my, my STI. I mean, the STI literally took me about five minutes to build, but... I hope this is faster, because it should be faster. Race suspension, race tire compound, rear wheel drive. It's mid engine, of course, because it's a Lotus. Okay, this should be very, very good. 351 horsepower, and it just barely weighs anything. So, I am definitely down to try this on the Golden Target. Right, so I can't really remember exactly what time my Subaru got. Exactly, exactly what time it got. It's definitely around the 440s, maybe 430 something. Uh, because it is a car that I have made. It's not going to be on this list down below. So I'll have a look after this this run with this car. Or these few runs. I'm going to obviously try to get used to it first of all as well. Oh god, this sounds weird. This sounds very weird. Okay, brakes are good. Weirdly enough, he didn't actually give me a time that he got on the Golden Toge, though. Usually people, when they send over their, their tunes, they're like, Yeah, this is the time I got. Have a go yourself, see what it is. No, it's, it's a good tune. It's very good. It's really, really good. Yeah, it's very good. I can't say anything bad about it. Already. Super intuitive to drive. Made a little bit of a mistake there. That was on me. But very, very intuitive. Diff setup is tuned properly as well, so there's no slip. No unwanted slip. Oh god, that's my fault again. I'll do the whole run and then I'm obviously gonna do one that's... That's got no commentary on it, but I kinda just wanna... Feel the car out, pretty much. Try to figure out where the slip is and and everything. Basically, full grip for the tires and, and all that sort of stuff. So I can go very quickly around some of these corners. Fourth and fifth, of course. Probably being the best gears to be in. Third as well for some of the tighter corners, but this is sixth here. A little tight on the corner there. I thought I was going to slide out a little bit, but it actually gripped up very well. Here, I'm going a bit too fast. Don't judge 
this car just yet. Like I said, I'm still testing it out. I'm just trying to see where its grip limit is, pretty much. That's why I'm going a bit too fast in, in some places and, and all that. So I'll do another lap, or another one, and I'll show you guys that one. And we'll see what sort of time I get. I'll show you guys the, the, the one in, in their person. I'm probably gonna like, sort of overlay both of them. Or maybe not, actually. I'm not gonna overlay both of them. You guys can skip the, the third person one if you don't want to see it, or the chase cam. I usually do it because I have people that tell me to try and just play in chase cam, but like, I can't, like, I'm just so much more accurate when I'm racing in, like, cockpit view like this. I don't know why, I just... I just feel like I'm in more control when I'm like this than playing in chase cam. Playing chase cam is more, like, more arcadey. I don't know how, how I feel about it. But it just feels a little bit more comfortable when I'm racing like this. If I'm trying to be, like, super, super accurate with what I'm doing and everything, I have to race like this. Yeah, it's, it's a really good tune. I'm going a bit too fast for some of the corners. Changing directions very, very quickly seems to really mess with the balance of this thing. And it gets it to oversteer slightly. So if I go one way very quickly and then I change direction, and I go to the other way. Maybe it's with sim steering, that's, that's the issue, but... He did say try with sim steering. But yeah, that's the only thing I, I, I don't like about it. And I think that's just because it's super small. I think it's just very, very lightweight. And uh, the distance between the front and the rear wheels is... Basically, the wheelbase is very, very short, so... It's like the, it's like the MX-5, it's like the Miatas. Like they just twitch and change directions super, super quickly. And it's the same with this thing. I wonder what an MX-5 would be like around this this whole session. I don't know if if I've brought one yet on the Golden Target. Okay. Obviously, this one is going to be very slow because of the amount of crashes that I've had. But by the looks of things, it's already putting in a big shift here. It's putting in a big shift. Already putting down a 447 with crashing. With crashing, a 447. That's absurdly good. That's really, really, really good. Okay, we're doing this again. Okay, so I checked it out and it's a 440.9. That is the fastest I've done in the STI. I think I could go a little bit faster in the STI as well if I'm just a little bit more careful. But um, I, I think I'm gonna beat it with this guy.
It's done it. It has done it. A 437.8. It's really, really good. It's very, very good. I've made almost no mistakes here. A tiniest bit of sliding, but I mean, like, it's... It's a long event, you know? Like, it's hard to make absolutely zero mistakes. You know, it's really, really hard. But... I've done it. A 437.8. Like, I knew that this was gonna be a good car. I knew it. Like, it was just... There was no doubt about that the Lotus... Exige? Is it the Exige or the Elise? I can't remember which one it is. Pretty sure it's the Exige. It is... It's a brilliant car. It always has been. And then now, obviously... I know that it would have, uh, It would have dethroned the STI. Even its, it's short-lived... Uh, rain, I guess, is over. But yeah, it's a seriously, seriously good car. Try it out yourselves if you want to mess around with this, uh, with this car, use it for races and stuff like that. It is, it is very, very good. The SCIO, again, was like, just sort of like an accident. I just sort of built it and, and ended up handling really, really well. But the diff and the suspension is tuned very well on this thing. And same with the, with the transmission. Very, very good. Brakes are really, really good. The car is just super lightweight, so it's easy to, to go very quickly. Um, yeah, there was like a tiniest bit of like, you know, tap against the guardrails as you've seen further back and then um, as I go forward as well. I could have probably squeezed maybe an extra second or two off this time if I just keep going over and over and over again, you know, and I keep trying. And uh, get even closer and closer to the walls and stuff like that, so. Again, I can, but I can say that about pretty much every single car that I've driven so far on the Golden Tokyo. Like, I can squeeze another second or two out of it. If I just keep doing the lap over and over again. Anyway, I'll let you guys finish this uh, this run, and then we'll we'll move on. But seriously, seriously, good car.
That is the end of that. Okay, cool. Love the tune. Very, very good. Now, the next thing that we're going to be driving is going to be an Aston Martin Vulcan AMR Pro. And this person has built it for the hill climb event that we have, which is pretty much exactly where I am right now. And it goes uphill, basically. Uh, so it's kind of the reverse of what we've just done. Except the hill climb is a little bit more difficult and a little bit different to the Golden Toga. Golden Toga going downhill, basically, your car doesn't really require a stupid amount of power. Uh, but it definitely does require for you to have really, really good brakes and very, very good turn in response. Whereas going uphill, you also need a lot of power. You also need power, but you also need like controlled power. You know what I mean? So it's a little different uh, than going downhill. And the tunes can't really be the exact same. But again, this person sent me this and it's for me to try out. Again, like I said, I don't really have a leaderboard for this. Apparently you got a 218, which I know I think would be the fastest um, I've ever gone uphill. Um, but I really do want to go ahead and set up basically a leaderboard for this. So uh, I'm going to start it now. So down below for the hill climb leaderboard, I'm also going to put one of those there. And we can try and uh, see if you guys would like to participate in going head to head on that. Anyway, tune, share code, whatever, 727 240-735. There it is. Hill climb. He said he got 218, but then he got 217.9 after a good few tries. You should probably rename your tune mate then. Okay, cool. I like that this is becoming a thing. I, I love that it's... I've turned the Golden Toga and a hill climb course into like an actual thing where people like go and, and build their cars and stuff like that. It's, it's sick. I love it. Okay, it's really, really, really fast. Uh, now if I go to this, I think I can go into this and I can go into this. There we go. That's it. Hill climb, no AI, and then pretty much open class, so you can do whatever you want. That's the only thing that's different here. Now this is X class, the way he built it. So, I mean, I know that this is going to be the fastest so far up this hill, but I think if someone gives me a Sesto Elemento or whatever, it, it would probably dominate this. But I feel like it'll be kind of boring. But again, it's uh, it's interesting to try out. So let's let's try this. AMR Pro going uphill. Jesus. Crazy reflection from the window though. I don't really like that at all. It's really messing with my eyes. It's so fast, Jesus. The turn and response is insane on this thing. That's like driving a race car. <laughs> <laughs> it's very weird. The amount of rip that this thing has is stupid. Pretty sure this guy practiced a lot more than I did on this hill climb. So I'm probably not going to get anywhere near his time, but... I can only hope. Tune is good, though. Tune is very good. I don't know how much he's actually done to this car. A little wide there, that was kind of my fault. It kind of slowed down a little bit too late, but... Yeah, it's like a completely different track doing this in reverse. Like, nothing is familiar. Like, you go down the, the Golden Tiger, which is pretty much the same road that I'm driving right now, except it's tighter than this. It's just tighter than- I should break way too much time. It's tighter than this, and uh... And obviously because we're going downhill, all the corners are pretty much reversed to what I'm doing right now, so it's completely different the way I have to take all these corners and everything. Yeah, I'm slow. I'm really slow. 
Jesus, 225, that is incredibly slow. Okay, I need to have a little bit more faith in this thing. Much more faith in this thing. I'm going too slow for some of the corners. I can tell that I am because I can see how, how much I can still accelerate when I'm in the corner. And it still has grip going around that corner, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's noticeable how slow I am. Okay, I'm going to try and improve. I'm going to do another run here. Real quick with it and see. Well, I'm a little bit slower than uh, than the guy that sent me the two. I did it 219.98, so I'm basically like two seconds slower, which is pretty slow if you think about it. But still, a super, super tune. Very, very good. Very, very, very good. I mean, I'm not the best driver in the world. Again, if it's your own tune, you're kind of used to it a little bit more and you can do it as many times as you want. But uh, still, though, this guy is probably a better driver than I am. I'm not getting as close to the flags as I possibly can, which is probably my issue here. Like, I'm going a little bit too fast for some of the corners and a little bit wide. Um, so I can see where I can improve. It's just I don't want to keep doing this over and over again. Um, but yeah, 219 isn't too bad. It's a ridiculously good car, this. But again, it's X-Class. Like, for X-Class, I don't know if it's actually that good. Because again, in X-Class, you have the Cesta Elemental. But then again, that is like a super, super OP car. Um, so I'm not really sure, like, that's, that you could possibly make that into its own class, basically. But, uh, this is definitely, I, I definitely think that this is the fastest car that I've driven on the hill climb. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think it is. I don't think I've, uh, I've driven anything, anything quicker. Um, I definitely won't remember all of the different codes or whatever that you guys have, sh like, sent me so far for the hill climb. But I'll put this in the description. Uh, we're, we're pretty much the starting car, I guess, for the hill climb. So I'm sorry if I haven't actually, you know, built a whole like leaderboard from previous cars. I'll try to see if I can find some more to add onto this list, but I mean, it's gonna be difficult. But I guess this is the best time to to close this video while well, this this run is going on in the background. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching the video. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you're subscribing to the channel, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Um, but that's it for today's video. Again, like I said previously, if you guys have any tunes that you guys want to share with me, good tunes, funny tunes, drift tunes, racing, drag racing, whatever it is that you want to build your tunes for and send them over, um, definitely do. And I'm definitely down to showcase them. 
And again, obviously the tunes will just share it to everybody, so everybody can use your share code to uh, to try your tunes out if they're very, very good. But yeah, I guess that will be it for today's video. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, really good, really, really good car. See there, I think I went a little bit too fast and then I slowed down a little bit too much for that corner. Again here, I think, actually maybe that line wasn't actually too bad. I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.